So I went to an estate sale down in Dallas and they had a lot of beautiful pieces that were way out of my budget. But I did manage to pick up this uh, Pyrex divided dish. Um, it was in perfect condition. And also a little watering can, which I'll keep for myself. And this cute little cat mug. It was actually made in Scotland and for a buck. How could I resist? You know, I love cats and um, I couldn't resist that. So good luck. I'm not sure if it means good luck controlling your cat or good luck finding a cat, but anyway, there's a cute little kitty on the inside. Then I was went to a garage sale here locally uh, where I live and I've been watching a lot of Julie's designs and signs and Susie on the Farm thrift flips. So I decided a garage sale might be a great place to find some things to do work with my Iron Orchid Designs mold and stamps, as well as try out some painting techniques I've seen. So I picked up this frame. I thought the leaf texture was really nice. It was a dollar. Then I'll try to find something cool to put in it. I also picked up this shadow box. It has a geometric metal design in it and a linen background. I don't know if I'm just gonna clean it up or if I will um, take that geometric out and use the shadow box part. I think it was $3. And then I got a sign that says happily ever after. So I could either paint that side. I also thought the back side was kind of cool because it's a little bit deeper and there's no hanging device on it, so I can add that wherever I want. I think that was a dollar as well. I picked up some silver, not real silver, but some trays. I thought the texture on this one was kind of cool around the edge and would look pretty when you um, put some wax on it. And then this tray as well. This one's a little heavier, maybe painted with a mold on the inside or a stamp. Um, I'm not really sure. This basket uh, slash tray, it's really not a basket at all. It's metal, but it has a really awesome um, wire around the edge. The bottom of the, the uh, tray, I think, has a great design. Um, even though it's not really vintage, there is something on there. So if I can't get that off, I will paint that. You can actually, see these little screws here? You can actually take that off so you could spray the basket. Although I kind of like the, the color of it already in the distressed kind of patina. And then do whatever you wanted to with the board and then put that back or make a whole new board. So I thought that was kind of fun and it was a couple of bucks. And then I found this really cool wooden tray. It has a quilting design in it. Uh, it's actually cut and there are grooves in the wood. I'm not sure how I will um, if I paint that and just leave the grooves in and none of it comes off. It's, it was actually $5, but I wanted to experiment with the um, tray. <laughs> Sorry for the stuff you see in my garage. Um, like any true thrifter, I've got some stuff kind of hanging around. Picked up this little tin. It was a dollar. And I'll probably just leave it, put it in my booth. It's from 1991, I think it says. Yep. Quaker Oats Company. Tins are always so fun for storage. This little canister actually says flower on the other side. But I'm going to cover that up. And I may paint this or maybe just add a stamp with some clay over that, I saw um, a Provincial Farmhouse uh, do a really cool technique with the, the uh, air dry clay from IOD. Um, got a bowl. I'm pretty sure this should have had a lid, but I, in my head, I was thinking I'll paint it. It's actually, you can see uh, Nortaki there. I'm going to paint it. Some of the gold is starting to wear off on the handle. I paid a dollar and then maybe stick a some kind of something, a stamp or an image down in the bottom of that as well as on the outside. This little birdhouse shelf I picked up uh, uh, off Marketplace for a couple bucks. Um, this 
<laughs> muffin tins are already painted, uh, which will be cool for adding some things in there. Here's another little, this is an Avon tin. Uh, I actually paid half of that, so it was $1.50. I got that an estate sale. Uh, I think that was actually the other day. And then I also picked up this tin with this sweet little girl on it. That was a buck. And it does not, it's not branded, but I think she's pretty cute with the puppies. I know you may have, might have noticed the beads, uh, beaded berries over there. I got a whole box. I mean, a whole box of those for five dollars and y'all know that picks are not cheap so those will go to good use either for decorating my booth or um you know just staging things or putting in a nice uh, arrangement you could cut them apart and use them as well then i got these two prints they are framed with the frames are just plastic poster frames but the prints were really cool. I didn't do any investigation on them. I don't think they're old, but I just really, really liked them. It was $2 for that one. And then there's one of butterflies. The same size as a poster size. So like 16 by 20, I think. Um, yeah, and I, I'm not, I haven't decided what to do. If I'm going to paint the frame or take them out of that frame. But I couldn't pass them up for two bucks, even if I cut it up and use it in junk journaling. That would be kind of cool. All right. Thanks for going, uh, looking at my haul today. And, um, we'll see when I do something with some of those, I'll show you what I do. All right. Thanks everybody.